Meanwhile, a former member of the House of Representatives, Mrs. Abike Dabiri Erewa, today filed a libel suit against Diamond Bank and the Punch newspapers. Mrs. Dabiri Erewa told the Lagos State High Court, Igbushere, that the bank and the newspaper wrongfully accused her of owing 122 million naira. Diamond Bank, on the 4th of August, had published her picture as a director of Thriller Endeavors, which she claims she has never heard of. She is praying the courts to compel the bank to publicly apologize and also pay damages running into 500 million naira. On the 4th of August, I just woke up in the morning to see my picture on, in the front page of the Punch newspaper calling me a debtor that I'm part of a firm owing Diamond Bank 122 million naira. And um, I immediately got in touch with my lawyers to find out first and foremost about this company. And I'm glad to say that when the lawyers came up with the CTC uh, document from the Corporate Affairs Commission on the company, I'm not listed as a director in the company. So how come my name was listed as a director in a company that I've never heard about, that I don't know anything about? And uh, it, it, it caused me irreparable damage. It has totally embarrassed me. I find it, I found it very, very shocking. And I just feel that the best thing to do is to seek legal redress in court. And that is why we're here today. And my lawyers are demanding for 500 million naira compensation from Diamond Bank and from the Punch newspaper for uh, doing that. In the case of the Punch newspaper, yes, the, the publication was a Diamond Bank publication. But if you are singling me out, I'm putting my picture in the front page of your paper. The correspondent should have just followed the ethics of the profession and asked from me just a simple question, maybe an SMS that your name is being listed as a debtor. Are you aware of this? What is your reaction? Just one paragraph would have solved this problem.